Okay, so this is the Nova no, Novograd tall two door storage car cabinet. It is green in color. It has like a transparent grill kind of a thing where you can see what's inside. So it used like a showcase. So you want to put stuff like you know that you can showcase. Like it could be books. It could be some you know nice decorative ornaments etc. Um, but or, or you can also use the other places. But just note that it's transparent so people can see what's inside. Now this is very very heavy, and I want to keep it and make it in the upstairs room. So my plan is to open it and start to move pieces one by one and keep it there and start building from there. You, if you can, you can move it to the place where you want and then open it and start it. So it's your choice. But I'm going to show you a complete as assembly, detailed assembly, so that. Even without the manual, you should be very, very easy to. It will be very, very easy to make this with this thing. Okay, so for a complete detailed instruction, please continue. Okay, so I have kept all the parts here. Now, first thing is where are the screws, right? You might have the question. Uh, let me also show you the manuals. So these are the three things that are provided. Um, you don't need this if you are following the video. I am going to make a really, really detailed video. That you are not lost at any place, okay? And right here, in between these two boxes, the one which says F, you will have the box of screws. So hopefully this helps um, because it was not immediately obvious. And you can see all the screws and everything are placed here. Okay, so now let's start with the next stop. So here are the two E E rods. What is the plastic part? And there is the circular part right there inside, right? Now this remains at the bottom and what it means is that you can basically rotate it and uh, you can basically make sure and adjust, let's say your floor is not flat completely, right? So you want to make sure the whole thing is not wobbly. So you can make it big or small by rotating these things. But this black stuff is going to go in the bottom, right? And notice the arrows, there are two arrows here and they should point in the front. So this one shows you where the front is, same here as well. This one shows you where the front is, right? So, okay, so yeah, so basically I have kept this here and let's start. Okay. Next you are seeing the two A rods, right? The two A doors. And notice the bottom part has this, like this thing and the top part has nothing. So the top part is open and bottom part is closed. And you can see it big because they are called as A and it should be vertical, right? So you can see it should be straight. So if you are looking at A, it should look like A and that will you know the right orientation. And this is the bottom where you have the A stickers and that part is the top. So from that bottom, you need to remove this black, black things out. Notice how I am removing this black things out here. They slide it in quickly. Same here as well. I might need to do a little bit of pushing here. Let me try this one. Yeah. Little bit of friction. Yeah. And you can see the four A's came out. So keep this on the side. You don't really need this. Okay. Next, we are going to take this A here. Right. And we are going to put this in this E side here. So here's what I mean, right? You want to make sure both of them are standing, right? And then you want to you want to slide it in right in the place where the black thing was, right? So yep, but you want to do it for both of them. Okay, so now I'm just trying to slide it in here. It's not perfectly vertical, so you're not sliding it in. But that is what you basically want to do essentially. You're gonna just slide this thing in. Yeah. Right, you can see how this side thing is and it, it's already standing up. I'm gonna do the same thing for the second A. So let me do that next. So I'm picking up the A. Okay. And I'm going to slide this in here. Now this time it should be easier. Because as you know, you already have it standing correctly while whether the two legs. You might have to adjust a little bit.
Notice how I slide it in, right? And it's standing. Obviously, it's not sturdy enough yet, but it's standing enough. You don't want kids nearby because you have not made it, but it's you can leave it and while you are making the remaining things for now. So this the whole thing is slid in. Okay, now this is B1, right? Note how I have kept this and this thing should be on the top. Okay, now for me, for some reason, the B1 has these two folded edges. One here and one here. Looking at all of the instruction diagram, it doesn't make sense to me. So I'm using some kind of a tongs if you have in the kitchen or something like that. And I'm going to use this to basically make it straight. So yes, I don't know why this looks like a defect. Uh, but you know, hopefully as we make, we will get some idea. Okay. Okay. Now you want to remove from the A here, you want to remove this black part here. Okay. And same on the other side as well. You want to remove the black part here. This is okay. Next, what you want is you want the B2 first. Right? And you want to place the B2 here like this. Notice how I am placing it. And notice there is this tab here on the B2. If you come close, notice this tab here. So you want to fold it with your hands. It folds easily with your hand. Notice how I am folding it. You want to fold it all the way and connect the both of them. You will apply a little bit of a pressure definitely. But hopefully once you apply enough pressure, then it becomes easier. So yeah, and you are going to basically connecting it using this tab here. So what really helped me for B2 is I, even if I connected it, I folded it a little bit, right? A little bit, not too much. And then I folded it a little bit ahead, right? And I did that thing and then I connected them the way I showed you. Right? And then to push the tab in, I use something like this pencil here, right? And I just press the tab in, right? And notice how this thing slid in. Now, the B1 goes on top of this thing. So what that means is, the B1 slides inside this B2. This is definitely very, very difficult. I would definitely suggest that, I'm not going to suggest that this is something that is easy. And notice how I'm sliding it in. Yeah. Also connecting this here and also connecting this here and here at the same time. And once again, I'm going to do the same thing on this other side here. But I'm going to use the pencil. What is how I pulled it in? Now I'm going to use the pencil here to notice the B1 and B2 are not, even though they are connected on the top here inside, they are not technically connected properly into one another at the bottom. So to make sure and facilitate this bottom part here, we need to use the F here. So this, this thing here goes into this middle part here. So you want to hold this like this. However, this thing goes from the bottom inside. So what you want to do is you want to put it in like this, like just rotate it a little bit and then you want to slide it in. What is the way I am sliding it in? Right? And here is the important part, right? Right? The bottom edge is at the bottom here. So you want to slide it almost like inside you want to slide the f inside it's not obvious and it's definitely very very difficult but if you don't do it like this it will be a problem right so what that means is notice once again the if you look at here in the bottom here here notice this black edge here that is from the f here so i almost like this rod here, I slid it inside by rotating it. But as soon as I do this, now the whole thing, you know, becomes like a single connected thing and it, it connected from the bottom 
the same way it's connected from the top here. So hopefully this helps. It was definitely very very tricky. Uh, one more thing, you also need to remove the front part here. The front, the black things here from the front. Uh, cut. Okay, removed it. And same from here, removed it. So this, all of this black needs to be removed from me. You do not want any of them. Okay, now I want you to notice something. This is D and one side has this two small pieces here, right, on the edge. And other side has nothing. So the, the this part is on the back, the two slots part is on the back and this is in the front. And what we are going to do is, we are going to connect it like this. So hopefully you do it correctly where the you are making not a mistake, you are not making really making a mistake on which part is in the front and which part is in the back. So one second, let me do a flashlight here, so that you can see. Okay, so here, let me just show you, right? Notice this edges here. These edges and these things, right? They basically go inside in between. So notice how this thing is going inside. Uh, okay, I need to fix this one here and here notice this one is not really going inside so this one was not proper. But you can notice here, this one is proper here. Where this thing is going inside this slot. So it's almost like they have connected this edge. Very very difficult and even after making sure there is still a small mistake here so I need to fix it. But this edge here outside edge, it's supposed to go in between these two edges essentially. So very difficult. Notice how this thing is in between these two. This thing is in between these two. This thing is going to do the same thing here. This one is not correct. So let me fix this next. You all have the same thing. You don't have to do the same thing. Okay. So it was very, very complex. And what you, in terms of not complex, but more like, you need to make sure that the, this thing slides inside this, this slots here and in between the panels. But because this thing is moving a lot, it makes it very very difficult and you need to do it on all the four here one two three and four and notice this thing comes out on the top but even after you're able to do this like you're able to connect it right inside it won't go in completely you need to use something like this screwdriver here and what you want to do is notice this thing won't go in right so what you want to do is you want to press it I did the same thing here. I really, really pressed it. And once you press it enough, and then you need to push it down. Uh, they're very, very difficult though. Definitely not easy. Let me push this and uh, yeah, I'm going to use some help as well to push it here. Anyway, what I did, I just pressed it inside and then I just pushed it down. Now we are going to do the same thing on the other side here. So, Notice there is a huge gap here. This is not inside. So once again, and notice as soon as I try to put it, it, it gets blocked here. Because this is right close. So you want to really push this in and then move this thing out. So this border here, it should be completely inside. Which is not, which it is not. So you need to push it with something like a screwdriver or something else. But definitely screwdriver really helped me. Okay, so the left side was difficult. But the right side was even more difficult. I literally climbed on this chair here to use a maneuver and use like a hammer and this thing to put that thing slightly inside so that I can push it down uh, and you can get hot while doing this so be definitely right, be careful while doing this it was definitely not easy next you want to take this number 7 here and you want 4 for each shelf and there are technically 3 shelves so you basically will need 12 of them right I'm not going to show you one and then you can choose your height it's completely your choice so notice this one here, I want to put for shelf here, right, you can always change it, it's very very easy to change. You want to hold it like this. Notice the, the circular curved part, right, that should be on the top. 
And what you want to do is, I'm going to put this level here. Let me put it here actually. There are three levels and I'm going to put it here, like this. But it's how easy it was. This part is definitely easy. You want to also make sure that you match everything, right? So notice, one from this circle here, one, two, three, four. Right? So once again, from this circle here, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to connect this one here. Right? Now these are the two. Now right on the opposite side here. There's exactly the same opposite side here. One. Here, right? So from circle. One, two, three and four. Let me put this and show it to you. One, two, three and four. And notice what I'm doing. I'm putting this circular part here inside this hole here. And then just making it straight. And same on the other side. So four for each shell, right? And that, uh, the, and then you, I'm going to show you how to put the shell. Okay. So in my case, what I want to do is I want to make sure that the uh, the top shells are smaller comparatively, right? So to make sure that I can achieve that, what I'm doing is I'm making less gap on the top shells and more gap on the bottom shell. Uh oh. I think I made a mistake somewhere. This does not look horizontal. This is definitely not horizontal. So let's go back here and see. One, two, three, four, and here. No, this one is still up. Yep, and now it is straight. Right now the self is right. So basically smaller stuff on the top so that you know because there's less weight. Now I'm going to put again the other two shells. So let me just quickly show it to you. Also what I'm doing is I'm going this part, this part to the bottom, to the back side. And the reason for this is, um, I just want to make sure, and I want to, you want to, what, if you want to make sure you make it, you make it diagonally go in. Right? That's the way you can make sure that it goes in. But this one I made it correctly, and now the third one. Yeah, and once again, you can see it's, this side is closer to one side and farther away from the other one. I'm making the closer side on the back so that they, it, it supports a more load on the back side. If I, because you know I like to put stuff touching the back, so you know the whole thing is there's not less chance of tipping over in general if you have more weight on the back side. So obviously it won't tip over, but you know you always have to be careful for stuff like this. So yeah, overall I think the product is really solid and really great, but the assembly is definitely difficult and challenging. I definitely acknowledge that here. Yeah. But the product is really nice, uh, which is perfect. They are even given this hole, so that you can connect it to the wall so it does not tip over. Not many manufacturers do this. And this is really, really nice because trying to connect it to the wall is very, very difficult. Uh, once you assemble the product in general. So this thing is nice uh, that they have provided this kind of holes here. Okay, next you want two of these screws. They are in a separate packet and this you want two of these rings here. They are in a separate packet as well, but they are like a, a packet of eight. So these are just two in a single packet and these are like eight. You're only going to use the two. And what you want to do is you want to place them in this front holes here. Okay, and then place the rings. One ring and two ring. Okay, next what you want to do is you want to take these screws here and this door here, this screw and this ring, and then you want this handle. And essentially this is the front part, right? So you want to connect the handle screws from the back here. So what that means is um I'm going to send a screw from here so that you can see it easily. Okay, can you see the screw from here, this side? And essentially, you are going to connect this here, like this.
You will use a screwdriver, but I, I, I just like to make sure that this thing is a little bit connected, gone in. So that you know, I can, I can leave my hand here. And you are going to take one more screw here. And then connect it from the other hole here. But it is very, very loose. I want it loose in the initial stage. Okay. And once again, from this side here. What is this here? And use the screw to connect and then use the screwdriver to connect and connect the handles. That's it. Okay. So now same, but this time from the other side, I'm just going to show it to you. Exactly the same process. I'm putting the screws here from this side. You can actually see the hole here properly because you know. And I'm just going to. Yep. And it came out from the other side. And I'm going to connect the handle from this side. Say exactly the same, I'm just showing you the different angle. Okay, yep, and same from the other side here, this one here again, just uh, connect, yep, now I'm going to tighten it with the screwdriver. Okay, now this part is definitely important and it might be, they mention it in the manual, I would also like to mention the manual. Okay, notice this is the bottom part, right, and there are two holes, bigger hole and the smaller hole, and you want to make sure that you put this stuff in the smaller hole, that is, this is the bottom, right? Notice the smaller hole here. Your first step is to make sure that this thing that you have put in here, this thing here that you put in, it should go in the smaller hole. Very, very important that you put it in the smaller hole. If you don't do it, you will make a mistake. So that's how you are going to start, right? I'm going to place this thing inside the smaller hole. Put it first. Okay? So I put this with my wife's help a little bit and notice I am now putting my finger here at the bottom which means I can feel the bigger hole and make sure you did not put it in the bigger hole otherwise it will be problematic. Okay, now let's go to the top. Notice this thing here, this is spring loaded, spring. What is the spring here? And what you want to do is you want to press the spring and put this inside here and you want to jiggle it and yeah, and there was a hole on the top here like this. That was the exact same hole on the other side. And that's where that spring thing went in. I'm going to close it. Notice how it closes. Right, this is magnetic. There's this magnetic thing here on both the sides. What happens is, a bit is not to the wall, so it's like bouncing a bit. But once I push it to the wall, it just like and connects to the wall. Hopefully, it does not bounce. And hopefully, if you have more stuff in here, it should not bounce. But yeah, it's closed now and closed and tight. Next, I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Once again, the same rule. Make sure that the bottom part goes into the smaller hole. Very, very important. Uh, one easy way is to make sure you put down your finger on the bigger hole and then you place it down. That way it's not too heavy. That way the advantage is you do make sure that the, the thing goes into the smaller hole only. You can be certain. Next, once again, this part here, pushing it down completely. Okay, now you can see the hole here. And I'm going to slide this thing right into the hole. I can even see it. And this thing got slid in. And you see it? Almost done. Okay, next you want total of these three things, right? 
and what you want to do is you want to take this screw here put this here and um, actually this will go from the back this here so, okay now I have this screw here and this and I'm on the back of the cupboard right and I'm going to put this uh, right I'm going to take this I'm on the back of the cupboard right not inside and I'm just going to screw this in same I'm going to do on the other side here as well and then this one I'm going to connect to the wall and notice this screw here I'm putting this the, the this ring in the pointy screw and you are going to connect this here and put it from here and put this into the wall okay now let us assume in the wall you have the wall studs right uh, in a wooden wall right mostly so if you do have the wall studs great but if you don't have then you need to use this wall anchor here so if there is no stud then you put the anchor in the wall first and then put this inside the studs that way that is through the white here so something like this so this is in the wall and this thing goes inside wow. i'm not setting it right now because i still need to properly decide where exactly where i want to do. i also want to remove stuff but essentially you are going to use these things to connect it to the wall okay so as you can notice here I have put all the things in, I have connected all the things and the books are ready. And it's ready to start putting stuff in. I'm still trying to decide what to put in. But uh, most of the things are available and you know, trying to make sure there is more heavy stuff at the bottom. Uh, one important thing I noticed, I noticed this thing I wanted to show you. Well, this thing, magnetic thing just comes out. I'm going to stick it with a gum or some kind of a... Uh, liquid nails kind of a glue stick so that it sticks in permanently this is the only problem i have noticed after using it for like a day or a two but i fix it and everything works and it's going to be perfect so yeah overall a great place to keep stuff easy to use and nice and simple to use to be honest and uh, it 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 everything else hold held up solidly not any other problem so yeah Hopefully you should follow the instruction and you can assemble it and then start to use it and uh, put all the stuff that you can. Yeah, it's made of metal so you know it will last for a long time. Okay, thank you.